three exams, three countries, one life-changing decision. Do you want to become a doctor abroad? Let's compare all three. Lab gets you in faster, USMLE pays the most, and AMC promises the best lifestyle. But still, which one is right for you? Let's break it down. Hello and welcome to MedPrep by Academically, your one-stop solution to all the healthcare opportunities abroad. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated. Now let's get to the topic. If you're a medical graduate dreaming of the UK, USA or Australia, you've probably googled these three. Plab, USMLE and AMC. But you know what? Google won't tell you the actual thing. That's what we will do for you. First, what even are these exams? PLAB is for the UK, USMLE is your way into the US and AMC is for Australia. All three are for foreign trained doctors. But the time, the money and the effort, very, very different. So let's start with what truly matters, the money. Starting with the UK, after PLAB, junior doctors earn about 30,000 to 40,000 pounds a year. That's around 32 to 43 lakh Indian rupees. Consultants or specialists earn over 100,000 pounds, which is about 1 crore Indian rupees per year. In the US, residents start at $60,000 a year, roughly 50 lakh Indian rupees, and specialists think $250,000 to $400,000, that $2.1 to $3.3 crores per year. In Australia, you start around $70,000 to $85,000 Australian dollars between 39 to 48 lakh rupees and consultants can go up to $300,000 Australian dollars over 1.7 crore. So who wins on the salary? It's USMLE, then AMC and then PLAB. But it's not just about the paycheck. Let's also talk about what these exams actually cost you in money, not just effort. PLAB is the most budget friendly. If you talk about the budget, PLAB 1 and 2 together cost around £1,271, which is roughly around uh, 1.5 lakhs. And then USMLE, that would be a big investment. You'll pay for step 1, step 2 CK, step 3, plus ECFMG registration and other small things. The total cost between $3,000 to $4,500. So about two to 3.7 lakhs that's even before you get a PR and next is AMC the MCQ and the clinical exams together cost around 6,000 Australian dollars which is about 2 lakh rupees at the EPEC verification the IELTS or OET and other paperwork you're looking at around 3 to 4 lakhs overall now let's talk about who is eligible for PLAB all you need is an MBBS degree and an English proficiency test either IELTS with 7.5 overall and 7 in each section or OET with a B grade in all modules. For USMLE, there is no English test required, but your medical school must be listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools and you'll need to apply through the ECFMG before you're allowed to take the step one. For AMC, you'll need an MBBS degree, APIC verification and either IELTS or OET. Now, which one should you go for? Well, our pick is AMC. The demand is strong, the pay is good and the exam is a bit more doable compared to the rest. Still, if you're not sure about which exam is right for you, talk to our experts at Academically and get the guidance that you need to make the best choice for your future. The link's in the description below. And hey, let us know in the comments which exam are you actually planning to take and why. If you're looking for coaching for any of these exams, we've got you covered with the best resources and support for all three, by the way. And if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who's confused and don't forget to subscribe to MedPrep by Academically for more tips. See you next time. Take care.